Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and long awaited video I'm going to be doing today that I've talked about in previous, multiple previous videos. I was just waiting on all these pieces to arrive because some of them were custom made, made to order. Um, and some of them weren't, but they just took a really long time to get here because they were coming from other countries. So, um, this is going to be a goth latex clothing haul. I'm so excited to share these pieces with you. Um, uh, most of them are from Honor Clothing. They make, it's a latex clothing brand. They make latex and PVC. One of them is from an eBay shop called Civet Latex, and I don't think they're up anymore because I went to check out the shop again, and there's like no items listed, so I don't know what's up with that. And another one is from an Etsy shop that if you love following goth fashion and goth Instagram influencers, then you may have heard of this shop or goth influencer, Osri Fell. A-U-S-R-I-E-F-E-L, I think. Um, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go in and show you these pieces. But before I do, I'd like to say that um, if you are interested in, you know, buying latex pieces and wearing latex, adding it to your wardrobe, and you don't know much about it, um, I, I didn't for a while, but now I can tell the difference in between latex and PVC and kind of the um, what you have to do in order to wear it. Okay, so first of all, um, latex is not shiny. You have to have a certain spray to spray on it after you put it on. And I use VivaShine, it's kind of expensive. I think that's what it's called. But there's other um, brands you can get that are probably cheaper. and. Uh, you need a dressing to put it on because latex, even though it's stretchy, it sticks to your skin really easily. So it's like it'll get stuck if you don't have a dressing. Um, I'm not going to go into the um, ways to wash it and properly store it. I just store mine in plastic baggies. Um, but So that's not what this video is about though. I'm going to start and go with the small, small pieces to bigger pieces. So I've worn all of these except one. This first one I have worn. And I'm not going to try all these on because like, that would be such a long process to put the dressing on, put the pieces on, shine them up, take them off. I don't feel like doing it, but I will put pictures on the sites. I'll, I'll put pictures of them that they were on the, when they were on the site, so if that made sense. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. I'm kind of feeling anxious right now. But this first piece is a bralette. It's from Honor Honor Latex. I mentioned them, and it's so beautiful. It has the two straps here above the boobs, two buckles that you can adjust to make these straps longer. And it has adjustables in the back. And in the back it snaps with two buttons. So it makes putting it on and off easier. I think I got this a little too small. Um, as you know, I've gained weight since I started this channel. And my whole life I've been used to having really small boobs. Um, I got this in a medium and I should have gotten a large or extra large, but I kind of like how it looks anyways because it kind of presses my boobs together more <laughs> and makes it look like I have cleavage, but there's that piece. And that was about $75, I think. Uh, so the next piece is one that I have not worn yet. It is a zip up vest. The back is just plain. It has a zipper in the front. I've not worn this yet, so I don't know what it looks like on, but <coughs> this was about $60, $60 range. Um, I wanted 
a latex top because besides bromance, I've never owned latex, actual latex tops. And I was going to go with a long sleeve, but I'm kind of still nervous about wearing latex long sleeve pieces because I'm afraid I'm going to rip them trying to get into them. But um, I don't know. So there's that one. This is from Anna as well. Put a picture in. Well, I'll put a picture in the present piece. This next item is a skirt from Honor as well. It is just a plain black latex scooter skirt. This was about $80. Um, some of these I've worn in pictures on my Instagram. Um, next two I know I have, but this one I, I have two. But I think in the pictures where I wore this, you can't really see it. So here's this one. This was pretty easy to get on. Because the only part that like is form fitting to your, to your body is like your waistband, so so pretty. This one's still a little shiny still from the last time I wore it. Now the next item is my absolute favorite. It's from Audrey's Well on Etsy and Instagram. This mesh and latex dress with an o-ring at the neck part. I'm so sorry if you can't see this um, properly. Like I said, I'll put pictures. It's a mini dress. It kind of goes up to the middle of my thigh. I definitely worn this on my Instagram. It has a mesh here. And that's where your boobs go. <laughs> This was the most expensive piece that I bought. It was almost $300, but I'd say it was definitely worth it. I've wanted something from her shop for so long, and I'm so happy that I was finally able to, you know, purchase one. And the next is from the eBay shop, Civet Latex, C-I-V-E-T. This is the biggest piece. It's a maxi dress with a split goes down the leg. I'll put a picture up, like I said. There's a zipper in the back that makes it easier to get on. But, um, these are the straps. Kind of has a V neck thing. Gives me a little bit of cleavage. Um, let me try to hold it up. It is really long. I'm so sorry I can't get all this in frame, but here's the slit. The slit starts like a little above my knee. So, I mean, this was about $115. Surprised this one was cheaper than the Audrey Fell one, but um, there you go. That is everything from my latex haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I apologize that this is the best setup and I didn't try the things on, but I hope if you wear latex, you can understand why I didn't try all the on. Um, but anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching and liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoy my content and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.